Bombay musically, I mean, it's a very, very special city, you know, because it's, it's celebrated like 30 years of the most prolific uh, vinyl recording industry. This is my father, Keku Gandhi. Hi everyone, this is Silas Ram, Asian Culture Vulture.com. I'm with Talvin Singh, who did the music for the film Keki Mandel, House of Art. Talvin, welcome. How are you feeling? Hi, it's lovely to see you again, as always. Thank you, thank you. And you, it's great to see you. Tell us, how did you get involved in this project? Well, Biroz Gandhi, I've known for, yeah, possibly around like 14, 15 years. And, uh, and Shireen, I've also known. Um, through her gallery. The sister. The, the sister, sorry. yeah, yeah. And who, who kind of runs the, the Kamal uh, gallery. So I've known the family and, uh, and they've known my music, I suppose. And that's how we first met. We actually met on a flight. Right. And, um, and since then, we've just been sporadically in touch. And then we just meet at kind of, you know, kind of art events like you know, openings of artists, which I'm kind of close to and fond of. And, uh, and over the years, I've got to know the family and especially working on this film. Um, you know, there's been a certain kind of intimacy where I've become quite close to the family. Yeah. My father, and later joined by my mother, Korshid, were the spark that helped ignite the modern art movement in Bombay. What was your primary consideration when you sat down to uh, compose the music for the film? What was uppermost in your mind when you sat down and thought about this project? Well, the first initial um, response of mine was I was quite aware that the film was kind of put together with a whole bunch of formats of film. What do you look for in a painting? Scratchy VHS, mini DVD, cine film, and, and what's shot recently. So one of the things I, I kind of pressed down on was, look, the music can help string the film together in terms of, I think it does. you know, a kind of cohesive musicality, a cohesive sonic, um, you know, kind of aesthetic. And, you know, that was what I kind of pressed on. And, uh, and yeah, I, th I think it's, it's, it's possibly worked. Thrilling and shocking in equal measure. Did you go back to the, the time period in which the film is narrated, you know, the 60s, 70s? Did you go back to each time period or was it a lot more kind of ephemeral than that and you, you kind of uh, picked on sounds that you that you personally felt would tell that story. No, I definitely. I mean, a lot of the footage obviously is of Bombay, and and it's a city which, over the years, I've got to know because I've felt a certain fascination for the city, and um, and that's. I would say the fascination. Is a, is a kind of visual um, panorama, but it's also sonic and musical because over the years we all been collecting records. So through the collection of records, I'm quite aware of how Bombay sounds, you know? Yeah. And like, if you look at like early eighties and Ardy Berman grooves, if you look at seventies, it's like kind of like, you know, Bombay jazz. And so, you know, I was kind of really trying to get deep into that. It was um, to do with love and passion. That's what the real energy was, to say, you know, show your commitment. One of the things I felt very confident about being involved in this film is that I actually met the father. So I actually knew him because he was the kind of person which you will say I know him within few seconds and I experienced that because I was I was actually introduced to him by a very dear friend of mine Bose Krishnamachari and Shwetal Patel 
And this was in Bombay, and I, I was actually kind of doing an art show, a visual art show, which, which Bose was my curator. And then a few days after, they said, you must meet this person. And we went to the gallery, and, and I just, I remember everything. I remember how he just, you know, swirled his shoulder right. and looked back with a smile and just smiled at me. And you see that in the film, yeah. you see that in the film. And, and so for me, I think that really cracked it of like, actually, I, you know, I, I, yeah, I had the blessings, I suppose, of this man. Was it kind of a nostalgia? Uh, I mean, obviously there's some nostalgic moments in the film from, the, from Burroughs' own narration, but also it seems very evocative of a certain time that has passed and it's almost a kind of lament in some ways. I don't know if that's fair. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's the political, cultural, you know, kind of edge and twist in the film. And I think just that just happens to be, in a way, perfect timing because, you know, when we think of art, we cannot think of politics. I mean, politics and art should really not be related at all, but they are. Yeah. And... Um, and so, you know, it, it just happens to be, again, it's one of those films which just, you know, really shows us how, how art influences politics and how politics possibly influences art. What, what would you say to people who, I, you know, they're not, they're kind of not that interested in art, but they, they like your music and they know about you. What would you say to them to watch this film? I think what we, as a, as, a, as a team, somehow, you get to know about Bombay, you know, because, I mean, a lot of people don't know about, you know, the Parsi community in Bombay. And so, so I think it's actually, the film's about art, but it's also about Bombay. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's a beautiful kind of social history of, of Bombay as a city. Yeah. And, uh, it's artistic temperament almost in that that period, and and now it's somewhat different. But you know, we're we're, we're looking at a particular time period. I yeah, think. exactly. Because Bombay as a city, you know, it it's always had an identity crisis, and um, and it continues to, and it gets resolved by new ideas, and which it, Bombay is fantastic, whether it's film, music, or dance or art. And I think that's what makes the city really, really special. So again, we're, we're going back to migration in a way, you know, where Bombay, when we look at that city, we really see how migration, you know, kind of travels. Yeah, yeah. And will this be a soundtrack that you will be able to, is that something you're looking at or what, what, what's the future of your music from this film? I think, I, actually, you're right. Matt, that could be a possibility, um, you know, to, to put some of the music, like, together as, as some kind of journey or an album. Yeah, I, I, and um, I think you've given me an idea. I, I think it'd be great because yeah, it's very evocative. 20%. It's very evocative. <laughs> I find it very evocative. Having just been in Mumbai itself, and watch, I watched, it, I watched yeah. a little bit before and I watched the rest of it just now. And it just reminded me also of when I've been there in the past, in the more Bombay Beats. recent, yeah, yeah, Bombay Beats and all that kind of stuff, which from back in the day and and when you were, uh, you know, a young, <laughs> I didn't say this, but you know, a lot, a lot uh, younger or in that day and the mix and the. No, I'm younger than ever, right? But the thing is, what's you see, this film is. I mean, I could have gone even more deeper yeah. with the soundtrack because yeah. because what. You see, Bombay, musically, I mean, it's a very, very special city, you know, because it's, it's celebrated like 30 years of the most prolific uh, vinyl recording industry. And I, I have a collection of those records, I buy those records, and I'm lucky that I can recreate at least some of the flavor of those records single-handedly, because I can play those instruments. Yeah. And, you know, so if it's tabla, dolak, madal, and instruments which we don't, have not even heard of, which used to be used behind the curtains to, in Bollywood, which people like Adi Berman, 
used to be, work with, very close with certain percussionists, like people like Maruti Kid, you know, and and I've been very close to that. I've been very, very close, and it's been, it you know, it's been one of my deep studies, like over the years of um, studying how some of that music was, was made. Fantastic. Town Singh, thank you so much for your Always time. Always a pleasure. Thank man. you. Good luck. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.